In this video, I'm going to compare Lux Core Render with Cycles. And Lux Core Render is a free external render engine for Blender. And it's very simple to download and install. You just go to the website, which is in the description. Then you download the zip file and go into Blender. And make sure it's uh, a version of Blender that supports LuxCore Render. Then install. I'm going to go to Downloads and select the zip file. And then install add-on. And then we just enable it. So uh, LuxCore Render. Enable. And then we can go back to the viewport. And I'm going to uh, open a uh, test file so that we can see the uh, difference. Okay, so uh, we can start off with uh, cycles. So uh, this is the uh, render result with cycles at around two minutes with the denoising turned on. And then we can go to the low score render. And what's cool about this external renderer is that you can um, set the time instead of setting the uh, number of samples. So if you want the uh, render to last for two minutes, you just uh, set it to 120 seconds. The denoising in this render engine is uh, not very good, so I didn't even bother to uh, turn it on. And uh, then let's... Uh, open a new window so that you can see what the uh, node setup looks like. And uh, as you can see, the uh, nodes are very different from uh, what we have in Cycles. So you have to do a, a lot of additional research if you want to switch to uh, the Lux Core Render. Okay, so let's do a, a test render in two minutes. And as you can see, the result is not as great looking as what we got from cycles in uh, two minutes. And when we do a uh, simple render, like this one with a uh, glass monkey, you can see that uh, cycles is a uh, lot faster than uh, Lux render. In conclusion, I would say that uh, cycles render is superior to Lux Core render for most use cases. However, if you know some use cases where Lux Core Render is better than Cycles, make sure to tell us in the uh, comments.